Shalom family, God bless you. You are welcome back to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time, I always like to take out time to welcome all our first timers because I know each time there is a new release of a prophetic message, there is someone that God is exposing something to them, someone new who has never been here before. And I don't want to miss the opportunity to welcome you to this channel and thanking you for being a member of this channel and be, being a part of our community. To me, it's a huge privilege for God to entrust me with your life, for God to entrust me, put me in a position where I can give you prophetic messages, prophetic words, help you know God better and help your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by. And to all our returning subscribers, you know, you have a special place in my heart. God bless you. Hallelujah. So I was just sitting here and God brought something to my mind. The Lord says, this one decision will make the difference. This is what is going to make the difference. It's going to change everything. God just reminded me of the story of the prodigal son. You know, there are so many facets of the story of the prodigal son. You can look at it from so many angles, depending on what God wants to teach you per time. And this time around, God was talking to me about someone. You took, you made a very bad decision. And that decision is having serious consequences on you. You made a bad decision. Maybe it was an investment. Maybe you decided to relocate and God does not really want you in that place where you've gone to. Maybe, I don't know what exactly that is, but you made a very bad decision. And right now you are stuck in that place. You feel um, like it's difficult for you to come back. You think people are going to treat you for a failure. They would look at you like you're indecisive. People will mock your decision. You are in that place and you feel like you should just bury your head in shame. Maybe you got into a wrong relationship. Maybe it might just be a wrong marriage. Something you did, not a very good decision. But right now you feel stuck in that place because you think going back is going to have a bad reputation. You are going to have a bad reputation you think going back people will laugh at you you know that situation where you are stuck in a place not because you want to be there but because you think of what people would say and you want to be there now this prophetic word is for you if you find yourself among this category this word is for you god was ministering to me about the prodigal son and he says one decision or one thought that came to his mind was the beginning of his deliverance. Why he finished squandering his inheritance? He was, you know, the Bible says he went to a pigstyle. He was serving in a pigstyle. His job was to maybe um, wash the pigstyle, feed the pigs, and he barely had anything to eat. I can imagine him scrambling food with the pigs, and he thought to himself. Nobody spoke to him. No one advised him. He thought to himself. He, say, he said, I will arise and I will go back to my father. I will tell him, I am sorry for everything I have done. I do not even deserve to be called your son anymore. Just treat me like one of your servants. He thought to himself and he said, even the slaves in my father's house, even the servants in my father's house, they have enough to eat and I am here suffering. That one thought, he told himself he would not continue on that part. He would arise and go back to his father. Someone, God, I don't know how far you have wandered away from God. You made a bad decision because your life was not going the way you wanted and you strayed from the presence of God. Maybe you went and visited a spiritualist. You went and visited a diviner, someone, a native doctor, somebody that does not glorify God because you were desperate or something. And right now your life is on a standstill. You feel frustrated, but you're thinking there is no coming back. 
you feel like there is no way you can come back, the Lord is giving this prophetic message to you. There is no place you have gone that you can't come back. It doesn't matter how far you are gone. There's always a place for you in God. If only you will arise and come back and tell God you are sorry, there's always a place for you. Hallelujah. Or maybe you have gone to find the wrong direction. Now is the right time to turn back. It is never too late. I pray that God will help you. This is not an easy decision. But if this prophetic word is coming to you right now, it's because God has seen you in that place. He wants to help you, bring you back to himself. I pray that you will not harden your heart. I pray that this word is going to fall on a ready heart, someone who is ready to listen and that is going to lead you towards the right direction again in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.